Back in the good old days, when they put lead in the paint and seat belts were optional, you could get toys like this. It may look like just another fancy car and it's a made up salt bed racer, salt lake racer. But what drew my attention when I saw the listing for this on eBay was can be powered with Jetex. Didn't know what Jetex was at the time, but you know, the name kind of gives you a hint. I'll stick a Wikimedia or similar f photo up here of what a Jetex engine looked like, but uh, my research on it so far, they were solid fuel uh, rockets that you put in a little can to direct the jet nozzle and you lit and whatever they were attached to obviously shot off. There were model cars, model planes, uh, I think even model helicopters and boats. And this is one of them. This is a monogram kit of the Firebolt Jet Power Racer. And I won the eBay auction, obviously. So let's have a look inside. Nicely wrapped by the seller, which is good. Lots of bubble wrap to keep it safe. So. We have decals, which look to be pretty good. Not yellowed either. Uh, I'm not sure that I'd trust something I'm putting a jet engine in, a rocket engine, whichever. I don't think I'd trust it to these plastic wheels, mind. I think this was first released in the 50s, and the last version to see released was sometime in the 90s. And the rough guess on scale mates for a scale was 129th which is one of those oddball scales you used to get when they had a box size to fit the thing in and everything was sh uh, sized to, for that mm. so steering wheel so it's not just an action model it's got an interior and a canopy and whatever that is i think that might be a ring i think that might be something for holding the jet. So let's just, I've emptied the box, put the box to one side. So here are the instructions. The Firebolt, a monogram design for a jet powered race car. Actual cars of similar design have been built in England. Hmm. So it's not based on, on any particular real car. So this is the 1997 re-release. Don't know if they're still expected you to put a, a rocket motor in it back then, but there we go. So CO2 cartridge or JetX motor. So there are two different mounting brackets depending upon whether you're powering it with CO2 or with a JetX thing. Maybe I can go out and. Uh, get one of those nitrous oxide bottles that all the kids are huffing and use that. I don't know. Operating your car, as suggested on the inside pages, is optional because the first time you use it, it will explode. And the instructions... Ah, so we've got how to build it. We've got the actual, you know, what you'd expect from a kit, a breakdown of how to build it, which is very simple looking. And then we have... photo breakdown of how to actually operate it. So. I mean, in my early teens, I did um, harvest the motors from fireworks, stick them in toy cars, build a ramp, and then shoot them into the neighbour's field. So... This was built for people who wanted to uh, cut out some of the fun of chopping up the toy car and working out how you're doing it yourself. It is a very simple, very, very simple kit. It goes together like so. There's a couple of, yeah, a couple of holes you need, plugs and holes that you need to line up. There, and there, and the other ones on the front. The rivet detail and the panels on this are actually not bad. There's no 
interior details, but the interior on one of these would have been a seat, a steering wheel, and a couple of levers to pull. One to go faster, one to go slower. So nothing really missing in there. So if you take a look at the underside, you've got a little guide here for string. So you don't just shoot it off and hope that it goes straight. You string some wire between point A and point B and you use this. You use these guides to make sure that it doesn't go veering off and under someone's car and set fire to the neighbourhood. And there's also on the sides, on this side, there's these. I don't know what those do, but I, th I imagine that they're other, another way of hooking it up to something to guide it. And it looks like the kit comes with a mount for a CO2 bottle, but not the mount for a Jet-X. Go back to the instructions. Yeah, so that Jet-X mounting bracket does not appear to be in here, so... Presumably that came with the motor, the Jet-X motor. Stiff paper to... Uh, because stiff paper's going to protect your uh, plastic model from the extreme heat of this. It's not going to melt or set fire at all, no. So, that was actually an even faster unboxing than I expected. There's so much less to this car than I thought there would be. There is a body, some wheels I wouldn't trust to roll, let alone go at any sensible speed. There's a driver. Look, there's a driver. He seems to be missing an arm. I don't think I'm going to put a motor in this, but I may have to build my own a little salt flats diorama to put it on, complete with crew lighting, holding a big lighter to set the firework off. So there we go. A toy that could put a hole in your hand if you used it wrong or explode in your face, or all manner of other horrendous possibilities in the name of fun. The past was great.